Episode 14. This episode was a culminating episode. Goji has reunited with Queen Hilling, Kage has officially met her for the first time, and we see the prejudice of the Queen create an embarrassing moment for her as she assumes Kage's character. Within her own circle, Hilling is incredibly warm and caring, but her rank and need to protect has closed her off from seeing the best in people outside of her circle. Kage has grown up, always facing the same prejudice, and even admits that some people's assumptions were correct. But now, by following Boji's journey, he's been able to become the best version of himself. Hilin is ignorant to what Kage's past is, and claims to sense an evil aura from him. Kage, in turn, feels devalued and crushed, and calls her a dumbass. Once Kage's noble actions have been explained to Hilin, an apology is made through orders to Dorsh. Kage opens up and admits that the things she assumed about him used to be correct, but also that his friendship has already been sworn to Boji. Kage even apologizes himself for telling off Hilin. Now Hilin is able to see his real character as she stands in the back. Hilin offers a real apology from the heart to Kage. Kage hasn't had this real understanding with someone who's not Boji or his own mother. Someone who misjudged him at first, but now has respect for him. Kage doesn't understand his feelings at this moment, but it's real happiness. Which brings me to the real point of this video. The power of kindness. Boji is a force of unrelenting kindness, and kindness pays itself back. Kage joined Boji after Boji's unquestioned relinquishment of his clothes. Boji helped a three-headed, well, two-headed, snake with Hilin's help, and now the snake pays back his thanks years later to Hilin. Boji has only shown kindness to others and has been met largely with friendship ever since leaving on his journey. Prince Oaken is revealed to have been a kind soul that created the Order of the Underworld to be gentle and strong. This man gained immortality and changed. He lost his kindness, and all that remains is cruelty. The evil of this world is cruelty. The two things Despa says Oaken lost was his kindness and his soul. Oaken has lost what grounded him and removed his compassion. Despa admits this is the same reason that Desha wants to take down Moranjo. They are the same evil. An evil born from a kind person. Even then, Despa doesn't want to abandon Oaken. Oaken's kindness is gone. But that doesn't mean Despa has to give up his own kindness. 